My name's Bob Schultz. I'm a member of the Maitland State Emergency Service and joined the Civil Defence as it was then in 1972 and more recently in 1985 uh, became Unit Manager at Maitland. Well, I always had an interest in, uh, in the emergency services. I'd been a um, member of the CFS when I was 16 and just had a general interest in wanting to get involved in the emergency services and assisting the community. Uh, it's pretty easy at Maitland. We've got a good bunch of people that come along uh, reasonably regularly. We have a small bunch. Uh, the numbers, as with most units, have diminished in recent times. But we've got a dedicated bunch that uh, um, are willing to be there when the chips are down and certainly we get a good response to a lot of our major incidents. Well, I think SES gives a, a very wide range of opportunities much wider than some of the other emergency services uh, with rescues and road crash searching and uh, uh, just generally assisting the public in many ways that other services can't do. Really good question. It's, uh, I guess it's always been in my blood to be a member of the emergency services and to be involved for as long as I have now and it's still there and there's people in the community that look to us for help and, uh, and advice and, and guidance and a lot of things. So it, it's uh, quite rewarding in that regard. But uh, yeah, part of the woodwork now. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of skill sets. I'm a farmer, um, I've been involved in agriculture, but a couple of the courses on SES, particularly the chainsaw course, is one of the best that anybody go to, doesn't matter whether they're an SES or whether they're a farmer. Um, certainly with rope works, I've been a vertical rescue instructor in the past and the rope work has always been a really good thing to do and a good thing to learn, a skill set to have available as well as just general teamwork. It's, uh, I guess it's a bit like some people play footy and they work in a team in that way but um, in SES we have our lives, each other's lives depending on what we do so we need to make sure the skills that we've got are up to speed.